what is up folks i decided to start uh adding a little extra stuff into my videos and uh one thing i've been wanting to do is answer some questions from people that have been uh, that have asked me questions over the years and uh figured it'd be cool to answer that on video be something new so uh check it out i reached out to um someone who's been following my work for a while on facebook has also uh, had very insightful questions from time to time and uh, i've always appreciated them so this came from alma carmen and this is her question how have you stayed true to your vision of traditional american art while competing with the new digital robot style of art that has no character but is so so slick Ooh, wow Okay, I'd probably say uh, faith and long suffering. Um, I genuinely believe I'm doing what God has meant for me to do. At least right now in my life, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And as long as I'm genuinely trying to be doing the work that he's given me, I've got to have faith that, that he'll provide for me. Being a businessman is not easy. Uh, being a, a creative and paying the bills with what comes out of your mind is not very easy. So uh, that's the faith part. The long suffering is endurance. Uh, that's where you prove that faith. Um, and so I, you know, it's not that I'm not constantly looking at other things and other avenues and other other endeavors God might lay before me that I need to do uh, boy do I have a list of those um, but uh, examining the work I'm doing and examining the job I'm doing and making sure that that I'm staying in contact with him uh, that helps and and then the endurance just comes boy that just that comes with time uh, but anyway good part of the question there she continues here you have a genuine original look to your work that i'm sure doesn't appeal to the whole country uh very true but i'm not trying to appeal to everyone you can be a jack of all trades but a master of none and uh i've decided to try to lean on my lean on my uh, uh assets and not worry about the the rest of it i'm just gonna keep after it with what what i feel i do good there's only a few things I feel like I do well, but there's a few. Uh, she says, have you ever been tempted to just go with the New Age stuff because it sells? Yes, because it sells. Yes, because there's an interest. Yes, I've considered it because um, anybody doing the type of work I'm doing, if I don't at least consider any of the new things and the new media and the new fad and the new trends coming out i wouldn't be doing um uh doing right by my own business uh that's the yes part but no in the sense that uh, ai art is taking the humanity out of art and i believe that's that's what gives art power is the soul that's in it and that can only come from a human um i believe when when mankind starts removing the human element from artwork, whether it's still artwork comes into question. So, um, ooh, that's tough. Uh, she ends by saying, I have always admired your work because of that traditional feel and reference to illustrators from our past. Well, isn't that sweet? Thank you. Uh, what a nice compliment. I, uh, you know, I started before computers doing what I'm doing, so I had to lean on influences, uh, older illustrators, uh, a whole lot. One of those was uh, uh, some of the fantasy art that I was into when I was young. Elmore uh, is a great fantasy artist, some of the most beautiful art you'll ever see. Uh, Norman Rockwell, I've been following his work and his career my whole life. Uh, not only for the amount of talent that man sure has, but the ability to tell a story in a single image. Uh, that's something that I really aspire to do. And then also, uh, you know, uh, Ed Roth. The guy that came up with the Rat Fink style of outrageous cartoon art for dragsters and stuff. All those different types of influences uh, uh, work on me. And uh, so I'm kind of a mishmash of all of those things. 
but boy, what a nice compliment. Thank you. And what a great question. I appreciate it. I hope to be answering some more questions soon. So uh, you guys stay tuned.